it's hard to imagine a world where people don't get the opportunity to go to college for free or at least for three grand a year which may or may not be the government's interpretation of free regardless the opportunities available to this generation are vast and unending compared to the generations gone by that's why when you're 18 you have a pretty important choice to make which college do i go to now of course you have a few options. These range from Leinster Rugby to the could be NUIG's younger brother. All colleges around Ireland offer a range of courses and compared to most other countries in Europe, ours are luckily of a very high standard. The college I myself decided to go to, however, <laughs> was DCU. I had already watched enough Love Hate at that point, so I figured I could handle Ballymun somewhat. I was slightly wrong. On first impression during an average September, DCU has a stark contrast between the concrete, narrow and urban feel of Collins Avenue with the red autumnal leaves, which are simply left to cascade along the ground. By simply looking up, you'll see that sunlight is attempting to break through the gaps in the leaves and that birds are flying sky high up ahead, constantly looking down at you as a stoic guardian through the next three to four years you'll spend here. While normal people and Mayfair lights may have a historic and slightly rustic feel to their campuses, there is no denying that the new postmodern design is unique to DCU. Which, speaking of which, what person is accredited to designing the map system across DCU? This has to be the most confusing thing for any first year about the campus. On your timetable, it'll say 11 a.m. Henry Grattan. Okay, you say, Henry Grattan. Here we go. But you look at the map and there it is. HG in bold letters. Now, you would assume that would mean Henry Grattan, right? Nope, you're wrong. That's a completely different building. Of course, HG doesn't stand for Henry Grattan. It stands for the nursing building. But then you think about the business building. Now, you'd assume that would be a B or something clear cut, but nope, <laughs> it's a Q. B stands for this random invent building at the back, which is just there to remind people they should really just invent a new map system. However, there is a light that shines in this shadowy darkness. Nubar. Nubar is the saving grace and messiah of all Hampstead creation. After a long day of lectures, there is nothing like kicking back on the not-so-stolen couches of Nubar. The lethal weapons to deliver, known as Jack Slatteries, are distributed here. And despite the mask, do not be fooled. These boys will end your fucking existence. Lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, the invention of the first ever world exclusive two day hangover. Oh, oh. Thought one day was bad enough. Nope, make it two, my friend. And by the way, the straws that come with this shit will dissolve within seconds. So prepare for a plastic coating taste in your mouth for the next six to eight hours. That's it, my boys. But of course, Newbar cannot be mentioned without the inclusion of Shite Night. Shite Night was a DCU invention for the veterans of Newbar, but not for the faint of heart. When I spoke before about Longitude, I said that most of the music was made for this generation. Not so much a niche anymore, but a, but a pop culture sensation. The generation of R&B hip hop, the skilled operatives. But this is on a whole nother level. Expect ABBA for several hours and many a surprise appearance of Carly Rae Jepsen, who will not stop telling you to call her maybe. I had to say it. With student accommodation just a few moments away after parties and prees happen constantly, this is what makes going out in DCU so appealing after a stressful day. There are many other ways to make friends in DCU, however. There are society events for almost everything, whether that be charity boxing, the fashion society, the snowboarding, the film society, going around Europe with absolutely no money. Been there, done that. There is an immediate aura of ambition and hope about the campus and the opportunities for new students to make new connections while seamlessly exposed themselves to new experiences is never ending. A good friend of mine put it well once when he said, college is the only time in your life when you walk up to a random group of people and start talking and for that not to be weird. I know that a large number of people will be receiving CAO offers in the next few weeks, hence the purpose of this video, but the plethora of opportunities for college are astounding. Despite the small nitpicking from earlier, DCU has an abundance of potential for you to change your life from the get-go. The experience of college is mostly what you make of it, and this is extremely helpful knowledge to be aware of. In DCU, there are fences to be hopped over, chicken goujons to be bought, 50 euro society holidays to go on, campus security guards to be argued with, and it's a bit overstated, but yeah, Albert College Park is just there for cans in the park. That's right, Leo, get the, get, get out the fuck out there. Yeah, Leo. This is all part of the journey through your 20s, the surprise and the mystery of the possibilities ahead. It's the having no responsibilities part that can catapult you to new heights, and DCU will act as a platform for you to do just that. Anyway guys, that has been this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you don't know who I am and you're getting your CAO offer in a few weeks, uh, best of luck to you. I will see you in Glass and Evan. <laughs> 
Well, maybe not because we're all uh, we're all online, but but eventually we'll be back. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I really enjoy doing these uh, these kind of cut and talk videos. Uh, they're, they're a lot of fun to do. So yeah, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you get the chance. But yeah, I'm out for this week. Have an amazing week and I will see you next Wednesday. So take it easy. Bye-bye.